Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another, well, it's another one shot is what it is. It, this is uh, more along the tactical lines. I've got another product in. As you can see, it's an unnamed kind of box here. Uh, I got one of those, you know, one of those little ads that you see online or on Instagram or something like that, maybe in your email, and uh, decided I liked it, so I wanted to try it out. So here we go, pulling out some of the parts. We've got the main piece right here. Uh, we've got some other little pieces here, okay? Wire there, a wrench, oh, and you guys, and another wrench. So a handful of little parts. These are obviously the little accessory pieces to the main piece there. And obviously, if you hadn't figured it out already, this is a, uh, a laser. A laser for a gun, of course. A pistol primarily, maybe, but uh, also could be used on maybe a... Uh, a long gun of some type as well and as it says mcg tactical uh, now i grabbed this because of the design of it uh, i like the fact that this does go on a pick or weaver style rail uh, but then it still also has the pick or weaver style kind of at the bottom that uh, you don't completely lose functionality on this or at least you shouldn't um so you could put this on, say, say you put it on a pistol and uh, you have the laser there, but now you can't put on a light. And so you could, of course, hold it separately or you could have it still attached to the gun uh, by still attaching it at the bottom here. So I do like that right there. Uh, now, it's kind of interesting because as far as I see, there's two ways that this works. Uh, the first one is actually by this little section back here. Now, this looks kind of strange, especially with it separated like this, but I think what that is for is so that uh, the trigger guard, when you put this on, you butt this up close to the trigger guard, and this can move uh, going around the trigger guard rather than being obstructed by it. Uh, so you move the thing to the side there, and as you can see, there's the laser, and then you move it back to the other side and the laser's gone. So not bad in that aspect. If you're right-handed, you would press it on. And then when you're done, you could either kind of maneuver your thumb around and push it off, or you could just push it off with your other hand, uh, maybe while reloading or whatever. Uh, so there's that option. And then we've got this little wire here. There's a little plug-in right there that we can plug into and now we've got an instant on. So just squeeze the button and it comes on. Now on a pistol that's a little bit different than what I'm used to. I'm not used to a pistol having something like this. And I'm not exactly sure where you would mount this. I guess it's all dependent upon your preference. All right, so and then also with this you've got a couple wrenches. Uh, first wrench is the big one. So this is of course going to uh, unscrew your rail mount section here and this side stays this side moves as you can see there and you can slide it on as well we have uh, some screw a screw here uh, we've got uh, one on the side here that uh, this one goes into and that'll of course move it for your windage and then you've got this one down here and that one will move it for your elevation uh, the only thing is that I'm noticing with this is this screw at the bottom does stick up quite high. Uh, so, depending, this may uh, be something that gets in the way if you try to mount something and use that, that notch right there, just like this notch. Uh, one thing that I would consider is maybe taking, and, uh, taking it out and either changing it with a... A shorter one or if you're able to you can of course try and file it down so that it's lower and uh, doesn't take up as much room I don't know how long this is I'm not going to worry about that at the moment but that's something to consider if you're thinking about getting this uh, and then also right here we have the battery compartment you can use a simple screwdriver a, uh, a nickel or dime or penny or something like that to unscrew it once it gets loose enough obviously I can use my thumbnail and uh, we've already obviously got 
a battery in there and it came with another battery. Uh, these are LP44, so Lima Papa 44 batteries. Uh, you just stack two of those together and put them in there. But uh, you know what? Let's take a look and see. I have a, a pistol right here, and we'll take a look and see what it looks like on the pistol. All right, so right here we have, this is a, basically this is just a Glock replica. Uh, so it is it is a knockoff, a Glock knockoff, basically. Um, I've done some, my, some put some of my own parts onto it that I prefer. And uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and loosen this up. I think that's loose enough. And the bottom, as you can see here, we have lots of little notches there, just like uh, normal pick rails do. And we'll slide this back. Yeah, there we go. So we're on the first one, and it's just in front of the trigger guard. So uh, as you can see, it's a pretty low profile. So we will, of course, do this. Tighten it down. And... Uh, for some of you that are watching who are gun enthusiasts, as you can see, there is no magazine. There is absolutely nothing in the chamber, so we are safe in that aspect. All right, so here we go. It's all locked down. Um, it, it sits down as it goes in there, catches that rail just fine, and then when you've got it, when you want to use it, you can reach up and hit it with that button and switch it over. Uh, then to, to change it, you kind of have to go back. But a lot of people, of course, obviously, you're not usually shooting one-handed. You're usually shooting two-handed, so you can reach up with the thumb on the other one to turn it back off. So there is what it looks like. Again, lower profile, so it's not taking up a lot of room. Lightweight, so it's not making your gun any more bulky than it needs to be, and excuse me, pistol. Uh, so then we've got the little mount here. Now it is only on the one side, and this is a pretty short thing, obviously for a pistol, that's what you're gonna have. Um, you could technically put this on easily on a long gun because it is a, a pick style or a weaver style mount. Uh, but then you could say here, maybe if you want it up here where, where your thumb's gonna be, you could have it there. Um, it does seem a little strange. Maybe we can run it the other way. Okay, so run it up and then it can be across the side here and then come back down. The only thing is, is you got to watch because you don't want to catch it in the action. So I'm not sure which is going to be the best way. Maybe routing it around and under the under the trigger guard there, um, you're gonna, you'd have to find a way to attach it. My guess is probably going to have to use some kind of tape. But again, we have it here, and you know we've got our, we've got our grip. My thumb is say right here, so I can sit here and uh, obviously make sure it's in in line with where my thumb is, maybe, and I can sit there and squeeze, and that's all I do. So I squeeze and there, there is where it hits. So that's all I have to do. Uh, maybe I could sit here and have it so it's on my one of my fingers. And of course, obviously, I can easily squeeze, turn it on and off, which would of course be better because it doesn't give away your position as readily as leaving it on all the time. Uh, but this is a little bit awkward in the design of how this comes across. Uh, again, maybe run it across. Uh, it would be nice to have some kind of something to kind of guide you in the way of how you can run this. Uh, but it's a nice idea, I suppose. Uh, it depends on how you can make it work and if you can make it work for you. Because these are very much going to be something that uh, is custom to the way you uh, handle your firearm. So, uh, anyhow... That will do it for me today, guys. If you want to check this out, I'm going to go ahead and have a link down there in the description below. Uh, there will be, of course, the links to the social media down there as well. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And uh, ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. 
Uh, all right, everybody. My name's Cougar. This has been another one-off here. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.